Hi everyone, in this video we will forecast the construction cost across the construction period. Let's move to next slide. We have our construction flag ready, this construction flag shows the construction period for developing the warehouse. There are two ways of forecasting the construction cost. First one is straight line assumption wherein we assume that cost will be equally split among the period. Second method of forecasting is as per normal distribution curve or S curve. Let's start forecasting the construction cost. The first step is creating a header for construction cost. And then call up of construction period flag in construction costs block. Now, calculate the sum of construction period flag in column I. The forecast of construction cost, as per straight line will be as. 1. Divided by sum of construction flags. and multiplied by construction period flag. Freeze the total of flag and copy it across. Add the sum of forecast cost in column I. The sum should be 100%. If it is not 100% then we are doing some error. The straight line forecast assumes that cost will be spent equally in construction period. Now we are starting the forecast as per normal distribution curve. Or S curve. In this approach we assume that construction cost will follow the normal distribution path. Which is similar to bell shape curve. Let's start by our first step by computing the cumulative construction period flag. Cumulative construction period flag will show the month of construction period. The cumulative construction period flag will be multiplied by construction period flag so that it will have zero value in period other than construction period. Now we need to insert our inputs for normal distribution curve. The normal distribution requires three inputs which are X, mean, and standard deviation. The X shows the count of months, we can link this input with sum of construction period flag. Second input is mean of X counts which can be arrived by dividing it by 2. Third input is standard deviation, for that we are dividing mean by 3. The coefficient of variation shows standard deviation in terms of mean. Current standard deviation shows that there are 33% chance that numbers may move from mean at standard deviation level. Now we will insert the formula for normal distribution which is norm dist then X will be cumulative construction period from one row above. Mean and standard deviation will be from input. Multiply this formula with construction period flag to avoid value in period other than construction period. Now we need to freeze these inputs and we can copy this formula across the row.
now the total of these distributions will be around 100%. Now we will insert a line chart to see this distribution looks across the period. To compute the construction cost during the period, we need to select one of the forecast done for construction cost. Generally, we prefer to choose normal distribution, over straight line as it reflects the actual scenario of construction cycle. Let's compute our construction costs estimate during the period. Construction cost as of today is 2000 per square feet of developable area, which will be our input 1. and inflation on construction cost is 5% per year, this will be our input too. From our input 2 we will compute the inflation per month as consider it as input 3. Now the construction cost at period 1 will be from input and it will grow as per inflation from next month onwards. Our forecasted construction cost will be total developable area. Multiplied by, development forecast. Multiplied by, construction cost. Freeze the inputs and copy the formula across row. 